Electricity made a great impact in our world ever since it was discovered. Electricity can come from different sources such as thermal energy, solar energy, and more by energy conversion. With the increasing problems regarding the use of conventional streetlights, possible alternatives have been provided to solve the issue. Solar-powered streetlights as a replacement for the conventional one would be a better option, given the benefits that the solar-powered streetlights give. Unlike the traditional sources of energy like coal and oil, the source of this energy called solar energy is non-polluting, low maintenance and renewable source. Our research study is entitled Solar Streetlights with Best Wi-Fi and Charging Station, Empowering Road Safety and Connection in the Municipality of Hinuban. This is in partial requirement for E341 or the Research Methods for Engineering by Jeric O. Lim and yours truly. Chapter 1, The Problem and Its Scope Chapter 1 includes the rationality of the study, statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and limitation of the study, theoretical framework of the study, conceptual framework of the study, review of related literature, and research methodology. There is also a definition of terms, but we didn't include it in our video. Rationality of the study. The municipality of Pinubahan and small size of its land relative to student population calls for a solar street light with best of Wi-Fi and charging station powered by solar panel source. The street lights will serve as the second safe study area. Both the students will still connect into the best of Wi-Fi and connect their chargers to the sockets provided for the charging station. This is remarkably visually appealing and integrates with the neighborhood as several accidents happen in this area. In other words, public lighting for public spaces, roads are a necessary event. They provide road traffic safety and heighten our sense of security on the streets at night. But they consume a lot of power. Street lighting is one of the major components of the total energy consumption in municipalities. Solar power street lights have almost no operating costs associated. Street lights that can be remotely managed or auto automatically dim or turn off based on a lack of activity in urban can save municipalities money. LED lights are also brighter than traditional lights, increasing public safety by making traditionally dark areas of cities brighter. Just put the light up and leave the rest to the sun. Since the work of LEDs, bulbs do not need to be changed as frequently as with conventional lighting. Statement of the problem. Particularly, this study aims to answer the following questions. First, what is the profile of the community specifically in rural areas in terms of internet connection, road safeness? Second, what benefits will the community get in rural areas in having this instrument in terms of road safeness, internet connection, reducing, reducing home electricity consumption? Third, how much will be the estimated income of the peso Wi-Fi and charging station if it will be planted in municipality of Inubaan within its five major barangays? Or what would be the estimated cost in the construction of this system? And last, what is the type of solar panel source to be installed above the street light to generate LEDs, peso Wi-Fi and charging station? So, street lighting provides a number of important benefits. It can be used to promote security to rural areas, especially in the entire municipality of Minobahan, and to increase the quality of life by artificially extending the hours in which it is light so that the activity can take place. Street lighting also improves safety for drivers, riders, and pedestrians. Driving outside of daylight hours is more dangerous. Only one quarter of all travel by car drivers is between the hours of 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Yet, this period accounts for 40% of fatal and serious injuries to, say, to the same group. Street lights with Tesla Wi-Fi can help people to travel brightly with connection. While traveling in the run of battery, they can just stop by and charge. At the same time, they can, they can update their loved ones through Wi-Fi connection. The result of this study 
will be beneficial to the five barangays in the municipality of Hinubaan, the environment, the students, drivers and pedestrians, and other researchers. For the municipality of Hinubaan, this study is significant endeavor in minimizing the accidents or crimes in Hinubaan, reckoning streetlights with PESO Wi-Fi and charging station powered by a solar panel source can help the environment to be more safety and can reduce the consumption of electricity. Specifically, this study is significant for Hinubaan because of the following reasons. Empowering road safety and connection, lessen the road accidents and committed crimes within the area of the five major barangays in the municipality of Hinubaan, and to promote community security during dark hours. More convenient to anyone in case of emergency by updating their loved ones through the Wi-Fi connection and lighten up their phones through charging station. The PESO Wi-Fi and charging station can generate income which will be very helpful for the barangay's progress. For the environment, solar street lights are a delight for the community including students, drivers, and police officers in the municipality of Hinubaan as it can provide significant visibility to road and enables officers to easily solve crimes in road. In other words, solar-powered lights are a perfect green lighting solution. This study spreads awareness in the environment on recognizing how important streetlights is, as well as stable internet connection, and how solar power can be useful in terms of electricity consumptions. For the students, this study will also be beneficial to students because the streetlights has a PESO Wi-Fi and a charging station that can be used for educational purposes. The students who have trouble connecting to the internet can now connect to the PESO Wi-Fi as well as charge in the starting station when they run out of battery. For the drivers and pedestrians, this study will also be useful to them. For pedestrians and vulnerable road users suffer from decreased visibility in the dark. For this reason, this study is the way of reducing the risk to all road users during the hours of darkness. For the researchers, this study will also be useful to researchers who are studying on topics related to solar power. The information contained herein and relevant result of this study can be used as a reference for their research. The recommendation of the study can also be made into another research study for the future researchers. Scope and limitation of the study. The study will only cover the five major barangays in the municipality of Pinoban, namely the Sangke, Tolipapa, Dao, Bulwaga, and Asia. So there is a widely held belief that the improvement of street lighting will reduce both crime and fear of crime. Improved visibility, it is thought, will increase the possibilities for identifications and apprehension of criminals and hence deter the perpetration of criminals act, while also the providing assurance to those people who are fearful for personal safety in public places. However, there is a little firm evidence to support besides these beliefs. This research aims to fill that gap. So the five barangays are said to have lack of street lighting systems are very poor when it comes to internet connection. Motorcycle and car accidents often happen within these barangays. Riders and drivers reason is due to lack of visibility to the road during dark hours. Meanwhile, COVID-19 pandemic strikes and students have to study home and attend classes online. The PESO Wi-Fi will be a great help to provide stable connectivity to them. The street light also has a charging station for convenience to the students. So the solar panels will generate electricity that will be charged from the sunlight to produce in the lead lamp and to make the PESO Wi-Fi a charging station work. The assumption that will be used for the purpose of this study is the solar panel source will have its maximum sun exposure during the daytime. The PESO Wi-Fi charging station, on the other hand, are a big help to the barangay as it generates income through drop fines for connection by the people and, and will be collected by the barangay treasurers. The money collected by the officers assigned by the barangay on where to use will no longer be part of this study. This infrastructure will just be sold to the said barangay for empowering and road safety and connection. 
This can be included in the recommendation for the further studies. So in terms, in terms of cost, solar streetlights are a better investment than conventional streetlights. The estimated cost of materials including the labor was based on the Philippine price of the wattage of street lamps. This is according to the Institutions of Lighting Engineers 2004. This study is based on a theory that the municipality of Hinubaan will be lit using solar streetlights with best Wi-Fi and charging station. A solar panel is actually a collection of solar or photovoltaic cells which can be used to generate electricity through photovoltaic effect. These cells are arranged in a grid-like pattern on the surface of the solar panels. Thus, it may also be described as a set of photovoltaic modules mounted on a structure supporting it. Solar panels collect clean, renewable energy in the form of sunlight and convert that light into electricity which can then be used to provide power for electrical loads. Solar panels are comprised of several individual solar cells which are themselves composed of layers of silicon, phosphorus, and boron. Solar panels absorb the photons and in doing so initiate an electric current. The resulting energy generated from photons striking the surface of the solar panel allows electrons to be knocked out of their atomic orbits and released into the electric field generated by the solar cells which then pull these electrons into a directional current. This entire process is known as the photovoltaic effect by Edmund Becquerel that would allow the conversion of sunlight solar electric energy. An illustration of how the solar street light with best Wi-Fi and charging station operates is shown in figure 1. So, during the day, solar panels collect energy from the sun, which is stored in the solar batteries. This energy is used by the off-grid system to power LED lighting during the night. The controller manages the changing process to most efficiently transfer the panel's voltage production to the battery pack. The solar panels start working as soon as the sun is up, while the LED lamp automatically switches off after the sunrise. The process is reversed when the sun goes down. The solar energy detection can be done either through solar panel sensing. The solar energy detection can be done either through solar panel sensing. This functionality works by detecting solar panel voltage which will increase immediately when sunlight hits the panel and vice versa or through an astronomic clock built in the solar system, microchips using latitude and longitude clock combined with real-time clock to decide when to flip a switch. The main function of the solar panels is to convert sunlight into electrical energy through photovoltaic solar cells. The battery will supply the loads including the LED streetlights, the PESO Wi-Fi and the charging station during nighttime. Solar batteries store energy, providing both energy for immediate access and backup capacity for days with low or no sun. Conceptual Framework of the Study This research study frames to a concept that the best way to improve the rural areas is to recon a smart infrastructure that can diminish road crimes and accidents. According to an article made by Arizona State University, in most people's minds, there is a simple and direct relationship between lighting and crime. Better lighting will defer offenders who benefit from the cover of, of darkness. <clears throat> so accidents and crimes most likely to occur at night, especially in darker areas where only few people could notice. Therefore, streetlights play a significant role in the lives of the people, especially those who are afraid of darkness. There is a wide belief that street light will reduce both crime and fear of crime. Improved visibility will increase the possibilities for the identification and apprehension of criminals and prevent the perpetration of criminal, criminal acts. As shown in Figure 2, this is the present situation. The, pro the problem is the road crime road accidents, high cost street light fields, poor connectivity, and, 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 and unable to charge mobile devices for emergency during power outage. And the solution for that is we have the solar street light, peso Wi-Fi, and charging station. 
If the proposed infrastructure is already installed in the municipality of Pinubahan, we and we will call it solar satellite, the peso Wi-Fi and charging station. The benefits of the municipality of Pinubahan are bright and secure community, reduced road drives and accidents, no to electric bills for street light, yes to income. Stable connectivity for the community and tourists. And last, convenience for road users and the community during power outage. The municipality of Rinobad also suffers high electricity costs from the street light bills, especially in the five major barangays. Smart street lights can transform the way municipalities manage cities. While delivering enormous savings, local government and utility providers are seeking new ways to decrease energy usage and reduce cost. The proposed infrastructure does not only reduce the cost of electricity but also generates income to the said barangays through FESA Wi-Fi and charging station. In our review of related literature, we include recent peer-reviewed studies and articles. These are really the meat of any literature review and uh, what your literature review should primarily contain. Any historical or informational material on the topic should be included in background sections of your in the introduction chapter or in a brief setup section at the beginning of the literature reviews. The researcher designed an ordered layout as shown in figure three. This was the very concept followed by the researcher to achieve the best outcome of the study. The predominant process was the gathering of data on the profile of the five major barangays in terms of internet connectivity and road safeness. Coded parameters include name of the barangay, connectivity status, and road crimes and accidents and monthly record. The connectivity status considered depends on the signal status of each barangay, while the monthly data for road crimes and accidents was considered from December 2020 to May 2021. This data, after being coded and plotted, shows the connectivity status of each barangay as well as the monthly overall data of road crimes and accidents within the five major barangays. The monthly data for road crimes and accidents from the barangays are merely the number of deaths under road accidents and records of citizens fighting during midnight on the dark side of the roads. The data collected is based on Table 2. The total number of crimes and accidents from the municipality of Hinubaan was calculated using the formula total number of road crimes and accidents is equal to summation of number of accidents plus summation of number of crimes. A number of benefits of the infrastructure to the community was listed to assure security to each barangays in terms of road safeness activity. For road safeness, street lighting helps to reduce nighttime crashes by improving visibility. It can reduce pedestrian crashes by approximately 50%. It can also help to aid navigation. Street lighting helps people to feel safe and can help to reduce crime. For internet connectivity, the PESO Wi-Fi is a big help to students for educational purposes who are currently experiencing poor connectivity. It can also attract tourists and neighboring barangays of the municipality. The PESO Wi-Fi and charging station, as mentioned above, will work for a total of 40 hours 16 hours for the PESO Wi-Fi and 24 hours for the charging station. The estimated amount of income of both machines were calculated. The exact income of the machine will be fully calculated depending to the people who will connect daily to the PESO Wi-Fi within the operating range. For the charging station, the exact amount of income will depend if how many people will connect to the charging station for 24 hours. The model design of the infrastructure was originally made using Blender 2.8 after all the data were computed. Infrastructure advancement is a great help to the community, especially in municipalities, as this will improve its economy. One-time purchase for a lifetime income. The promulgation of this project will have best impact in the municipality of Hinuba. This is the best way to improve the status of each barangays in terms of poor connectivity and road safeness. Solar street light with best Wi-Fi and charging station is the future of Hinubaan. That is all for chapter 1. Thank you and God bless.